What's up everybody, Fuller here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking it out. Hey, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to integrate WISE 2022.1.8 into Unreal 5.2. My last video was on 5.1. I know some of y'all had some issues in 5.2, so I figured I'd just make another video showing you how to implement those things. Uh, just so you know, I am on a PC, and uh, if you're on a Mac or something like that, it might be totally different. Um, but each time these companies update their software, there's little things that changes. Um, so I just want to walk you through real quickly, I'm not going to get too complicated, real quick how to integrate WISE into 5.2 Unreal Engine. So let's jump in. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make a new project, okay? And we're going to come up with a super awesome name here called WISE 2022 18 UE5-2. Okay, that's the name of the project we're gonna make. I am starting totally from scratch. Keep in mind, if you are doing this with a project that you already have open, you might have a different, uh, different path to make this work, but we're gonna do this from scratch. Okay, so we got our new project. We're gonna close that out. Then we're gonna open WISE. We're gonna go down to WISE, and we have these plugins. I'm not gonna do 2023.1 because it's still in beta. Who knows what sort of problems there are? We're just going to do this one right here, 2022.1.8.8316. So um, you can launch WISE um, here, but what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Unreal. That's going to retrieve all our projects. Uh, this is an old project. I wanted to make sure everything worked. This is the project we're working on. So we're going to click Integrate WISE into Project. Okay, so this is your first step. Step one, after creating the sessions, Integrate WISE into Project. So we're going to click that. Now, when you come down here, all mine are blue right now, but the first time I did this, it asked to modify it. And if it does ask you to modify it and it's a yellow background with the red button or something like that, definitely hit yes, um, because there's files and stuff that are mandatory that need to go in there. So mine's blue, so we're good to go. And we're going to click integrate. And this is working. So right now, this is integrating WISE into the Unreal project. And when it's done, uh, we'll be right back. So here it is applying the operation. This will take a few minutes because there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen and uh, you'll get all the information status right here in this window. While it's doing that, I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. All right, we're almost done. Alrighty, perfect. Operation completed successfully. So now WISE has been integrated into that Unreal session. If we go back to it and open it, here's the WISE folder that it created and I'm just gonna double click that just to show you. All right, it's opening the, the folder we or the project we just created in Unreal. There's the name. And if you see down here, we have, in addition to all our Unreal content, we have this folder with the WISE stuff. So that now we know that WISE is integrated. So that's step one. We're integrated, but now we've got to do a few more things to make sure WISE is communicating properly with the Unreal Engine so when we generate sound banks, we have access to those sounds and those events. So that's step two. If you go over here to the window right now and you click on, you'll see under window, WISE browser. This is really important. This is the new update for 5.2. Uh, and so you'll see here, generate sound banks folder and WISE integration setting is empty. This folder should match the root output path. Now this is where it gets a little complicated. So um, first of all, let's open the WISE. I, I know it's called Y, I call it WISE, I don't know. Let's open the WISE integration settings. And then you'll see here the, the output path, which is correct, because that's the project we just made, okay? Here it is, you'll see here. That's where our project live. Now this root output path, this is where things get a little complicated. Now if I click on this right now, and I go to that project, in here, there's no folder called generated sound banks, okay? We're gonna fix that real quick. So let's close out Unreal, and we're gonna go back to WISE. We're gonna open this project in WISE. So this is creating a new WISE project, okay? So now we have this WISE project, which is where we're gonna do the heavy lifting. Now we're going to go to settings, project uh, sound bank settings. I'm gonna enable auto-define sound banks, okay? 
So now if you look here, if selected, WISE will automatically define sound banks for the following object types when possible. Event and aux buses. We are going to enable auto define sound banks. Okay. So we're going to come over here to user sound bank settings again, and you'll see down here, platform Mac, platform windows under the sound banks folder. This is where it's. So if I click on this, you can see this is the directory folder that these sound banks are being generated in. So if you see here, we're inside our wise project. Now there's a generated sound banks folder. So we're going to hit OK. I'm going to cancel out of this. Now let's just add a sound here. Uh, we're going to come in here. We're going to go under the actor mixer. We're going to add a new child. Let's just add a sound effect. We'll call this drums. Okay, we're going to import an audio file for this. And I'm just doing this just to get, just to show you how it works. Okay, I'm going to import. So now that's blue because it has audio. And if we go over here to events, we're going to uh, create a new event. We're going to call this drum playing. Okay. Hold on. Let's go to um, designer layout. We're going to go on this event, drums playing missing. <laughs> We're going to drag this audio right here to this event. So now it's a play event. And when I hit this, you hear the drums playing. Okay. So now we have that. Let's save this. Now let's go back to our banks. And right now I'm just kind of showing you how this all works. I mean, if you don't know how to use Wise, then I wouldn't even recommend trying to use it. I would just use Metasounds and Unreal 5 because they're awesome. But we're going to go over here, click on this, make sure our default work unit, and then we're going to hit generate all. This is generating the sound banks. It is completed. Let's close it out and let's get out of here. Let's go back to Unreal 5. So now we're going to open Unreal 5.2 and we're going to go into the preference folder and we're going to tell it where those settings are. So we're going to open this up, root output path. We're going to go to wise generated sound banks. That's the folder. And we're going to hit select folder. Now when we hit save generate sound banks, voila, check this out. Wise sound bank generation completed. If you look under event, there's, the one that it created. And let's just hit reconcile. And now it is up to date. Now when you look over here in the finder, you see this folder here that wasn't there before called Wise Audio, Events, Default Work Unit, Drums. Now we've got this event and we can do it. We can do stuff with it. Now remember, linking those two root output folders, that's usually the problem most people have. Okay, so now we're going to go into our level blueprint and just make sure this works. Open level blueprint. Uh, we're going to go on event begin play. We're going to post that event and we're just going to say post. Audio kinetic will show up now because it's been integrated post event. Under here, we're going to grab the event that we just made, drums playing, and that's it. Let's save that, compile that. Now, as soon as I hit start, we should hear that event. And we don't. One thing too, make sure in your project session and plugins, make sure that WISE is enabled. And if you haven't enabled that, you need to enable that for it to, to work. Let's open the session back up. Not sure why it's not playing. Okay. Now, there is one little bug I noticed. After you do all that, you need to close Unreal and then open it back up for some reason, um, which I just did. So I closed that up and then I opened Unreal back up, same exact session that we just used. And now when you look at the level blueprint, there's our event that we just posted. And then now when I hit play, bam, drums rocking. Um, so that's it. So now anything you do in WISE, let me just show you real quick. We'll open WISE back up. Let's just add one more audio file, uh, one more sound effect. Go here. We're going to import audio files. Let's uh, make it strings, I guess. Hit OK. Now we got this. We're going to rename that strings. Let's go over here. So now we're going to uh, let's create a new event. We're going to call this event, or I'm sorry, strings uh, playing. Okay. Oh. St 
strings play. Oh my goodness. We're going to call this event strings playing. Okay. And then under this event, we are going to do some strings here. So let's click on event. Uh, let's go. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's go to designer. Haven't used this in a while. Go to strings. Uh, bring this over. Got this. Cool. Okay, now we're going to save that. Okay. Oh, and then I'm going to go back to the drum event because it's freaking loud. I'm going to turn this way down. Even way louder than that. Here we go. Let's go even softer than that. Let's go negative 10. Okay, and then let's go strings. All right, cool. Now we're going to go back to sound bank. Going to generate all those. Okay, cool. We're going to save. Yes, of course, always save. Then we're going to open back up an Unreal Engine. I got drums post in here. Let's go back to the level blueprint. And then let's also post another event. And let's just do the strings that we just uh, made. And let's uh, hear that. Now, since both events started at the same time, they're locked up. So that's how you do it. Um, pretty easy. Obviously, you can do a lot more complicated, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Make new projects, integrate the new wise into Unreal, and then link that root folder. That's the most important thing. Then you can use the... Um, the WISE browser, or you can go down under WISE events. Just remember when you open the WISE browser to click generate sound banks again, and it will update, and, and then uh, you can refresh that data. And if you have anything unreconciled, it'll ask. You can also right click and click on reconcile selected assets. So that's it. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope this was helpful. And um, I'll probably do another one on Unreal 5.3 and then WISE 2023 once it's out of beta. So look for that. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel and comments are appreciated as well. So hope this video was helpful. We'll see you on the other side.